What is going on world? Welcome back once again. My name is Zach Novak and this is Zach Novak Plays Games. I've been gone for the last three days. I haven't actually uploaded. I haven't really been on YouTube at all actually. I've been going through a few things but uh today's video we actually have my titan. He is 385 very close to our getting to 400, actually not really, very far off, but I wanted to go over the weekly reset. So roll the intro, and I hope you enjoy. Alrighty, so, the weekly reset, the Nightfall, hmm, what is up with this Nightfall? We've got Epic, we've got Arkburn, we've got Specialist, Juggler, and Airborne. Now this thing definitely is going to be a challenge. It is the Abomination Heist, and that in itself is new. Now, being the Nightfall, it is most likely going to be very, very difficult, but honestly very fun. I have a Nightfall video, should be coming up very soon after this one. It was me and Unknown Clone going through last week, doing Ulla Cool and all that good stuff. But yes, we've got Siva Crisis. Now these, mm, I guess, are slightly better. Specialist Juggler and Airborne. That's pretty much the same except for the Arc Burn. So yeah, that, that's not the greatest. But again. We get uh, some Radiant Treasure, and Radiant Treasure is always good. We've got Zone Control, which uh, would be better if it was like Mayhem Clash or something. We've got Rumble, that's for the day anyway. I'm probably going to do that very soon. I was really hoping this is going to be Clash, something to do with Clash. Because have a look on the screen right now, this is Shaq's actual thing that we have. The weekly rundown for what Shaq's bounty is, I should say. It's very different, but uh, yeah, not, not Clash, we've got Zone Control. Oh well, everybody jump in there and get that done because you get some awesome rewards. But let us go to Fell Winter's Peak, let us see what we have new there. First off, let's start out with Shiro 4. Now the Iron Lord bounties that he has. We've got complete public events, we've got complete patrols in Plaguelands, we've got complete Drag Encounters in Archon's Forge, and we've got complete Shank Encounters in Archon's Forge. All pretty good, very simple stuff. Let's go see what Tyra Khan has. Now, Tyra Khan, what has she got in the way of artifacts? First up, we've got Memory of Zhelda, which removes the sprint cooldown. We've got Memory of Silamar, which increasable resistance to damage over time attacks is greatly increased. Pretty freaking cool if you ask me. It makes Thorn only deal 1 damage instead of 2. And finally, we've got Memory of Timar. Melee attacks on minions of the darkness have the chance to temporarily turn the target against its allies. Which this in itself I really like. I've used this even on yellow shield captains and holy crap, that is a lot of fun. They take out so many people. But that is the weekly reset update. This has been Zach Novak. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have and made it to this point, click that like button down below. Do all that good stuff. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this and I might actually keep this thing going. Let you guys know what the weekly reset is each week. Just so you have an idea so you don't have to actually jump on in case you don't really want to run it. I myself have had that in certain situations. But, once again, this has been Zach Novak. Do all that good stuff and I'll be cheering like Kieran if he was Ed Sheeran. But until next time, this is Zach Novak. Signing off. Peace out.